Hello and welcome to Valefield Park here in Kilburnie. It's a big match today between Kilburnie Lakeside and Cumnock Juniors. Now, Kilburnie are languishing at the bottom, but a couple of good results recently, picking themselves back up. Cumnock are roughly middle of the, the table, looking for points to get themselves up there and challenge for the top spot. I think the main thing to talk about today is maybe Kilburnie's situation to get the three points today and get them out of that relegation zone. So we're looking forward to this match today. Let's go and see it.
So it was after quite an eventful game. Uh, here I am with the manager of Gilburnie, uh, Sean Dillon. Thanks for coming. Nah, no worries at all. Thank you. So after quite an eventful game, how do you feel about it? Eh, we're delighted. So I don't think it was a, I don't think it was a great spectacle for the, for the fans. It wasn't a great game in terms of um, ability, but we boys dug deep and we asked them at the start of the month to see we've got a big four or five games coming up yeah. and to start with back-to-back -back victories is, is tremendous and what pleases me as well is we've got a clean sheet as well. We've not had many of them this season so delighted to get a clean sheet. There were quite a few bookings from, from both teams <laughs> as well, but probably a bit more in the come next side I probably did notice. Uh, so how do you feel about that? Uh, I don't want to say something will get me into trouble but <laughs> I don't think the officials had the best game. I think there was a lot of Needless interventions, we'll call it, um, getting involved in things. I don't think it was a dirty game, to be honest, and I think there was a lot of bookings, as you say, for both sides, so, um, yeah, I, I'll leave it at that. That's great. So, after this game, what, what are the next steps, so, uh, looking after after that game? Yeah, no, as I say, we, we kind of gave the boys a, a target um, at the start of, uh, of the month. We had four or five big league games coming up, so to start with six points is, is unbelievable. We've um, gone to a, a wee break next week in terms of we're playing the Cup, so that'll bring its own challenges against a Lowland team and Caledonia Braves, but we're looking to kick on now. Um, we've come in, it's two, two victories, six points. The boys are full of confidence now, um, and we've got the desire now to, to kick on and, and stay in this league. Yeah, uh, amazing goals by the way from uh, from your players. Yeah. One in the first half and the second one at the very last seconds of the second yeah. half. So, uh, what have you got to say about those? Yeah, it's a great finish for Sharpie. The, the first one, I think that one's just came across. And he, he's had it on his left foot. A great finish. He deserves that for the work that he puts in. Um, he's up there sometimes on his own, and he covers every blade of grass for us, which is all we ask. Um, desire and commitment. And then it shows his quality there when it comes through. Absolutely. And then the break at the end there, I think there was a couple near the end we could have maybe finished the game, but thankfully the one at the end there um, falls to Alec and Alec's a great finish for that. We probably could have put it in beforehand, but it's a great finish from Alec uh, to kill the game right on full time. So, no, delighted. Over for the moon with that. Great. Thanks a lot. No worries at all, thank you. Well, that's the end of the game, and it's uh, Coburn versus Cumduck. A crucial game, guys. I mean, it was a crucial game. I would say probably more so for Coburn. Although come that fans will say the opposite, <laughs> but the Coburnie needed the points to get up away from that relegation zone. The come up team are sitting sort of middle of the range, and they'll not be happy with that today, Rebecca. No, no, absolutely not. I mean, uh, I think Coburnie just were more up for it to be uh, just to put it out there because, like, just even watching the warm ups and stuff like that, you can kind of see that Coburnie seemed to be a wee bit more sharper, like they were ready for this game today. And, and I mean, as you heard from the manager earlier. I mean, they, they put a target out, and this is a big game for them. And they needed to get the points, and they did that, and they, they dug, dug out, and they got in when they needed to. And I mean, for, both of them were given like the chances. This is the thing. It was yeah, a, it was an yeah. end-to-end game, so it was a good game. But it was just the fact that I think the final ball was just the, like the last decision was what was really letting both teams down. Yeah. First half, I mean, it's uh, one nothing to Kobani. It was a cracking goal. Oh. And, I know you were right on it, Ross. <laughs> yeah, I, I was right at that. Uh, it was uh, at that side over there. Uh, I watched it happen. It was quite a good goal. Uh, what a way to open the the match. It was a way the guy hit it. He just seemed to hit it up, over and dip. And that was a corner, terrific goal. And I'm hopefully when we see the footage, yeah. that will be buying on in perfect. The same with you, Campbell, behind that camera. <laughs> we'll get that perfect as well. But it went one nothing up. But I thought that, that last five ten minutes of this, the first half. There was a couple of chances that come at hard, we just yeah. skimmed the post. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of kind of 1v1s for the keeper in a sense, and the fact that you know, the ball's coming right over to the other side of the park, it's just, it's just a first time shot, you know what I mean? That's all you need to do is just put your foot through it and it would be back to the net, but I don't know, maybe it was a pressure, maybe they knew that they needed to get the points and they needed to, so when they, when they get in front of that goal they just kind of panic, but they yeah. got the second goal and that's the main thing, it was a good goal as well. Second half, it seemed to kind of, well, I don't know what happened to the game, it was kind of back and forward, not doing very much, no great uh, action in front of the goals. I would say that, probably Ross, what do you think? Yeah, the second half kind of had a, a draggy kind of start. Uh, there wasn't much happening, even though the uh, it was kind of back and forth. Uh, I didn't think something would, uh, didn't think anything would happen uh, midway through after that long drag start. But then the last few seconds came in, and what a, um, a kind of back and forth there at that goal there <laughs> until they eventually got the goal to seal the victory. That took, that took them. How many hits at that goal? I think it, was a it, it felt like it felt. It felt like uh, I don't even know. It felt like hundred. <laughs> Somebody's going to score here. And the fans behind me were going, hit it, hit it, hit it. And eventually he did hit it. 
But yeah. it happened a couple of times, but it came at the, probably the perfect time for Kilburnie. Yeah. Not so much for Lisa Cumnock, who were pushing hard and driving hard. I mean, they could have had Kilburnie, made a good couple of saves, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you have to give credit where credit's due. Absolutely. Um, good handler. Aye. Yeah. Seemed to handle the ball really well, the Kilburnie goalkeeper. Just before I wind up, uh, I was looking up in the, the railway bank in there, the footage that I took, the fans that were up in the railway bank, <laughs> they're normally in there, but um, it's intriguing to see that. I uh, know, I loved that. Yep. I've got to say, like, seeing them up there, I'll cheer them on, and then obviously when they won the game, seeing the manager right up over there. <laughs> yep. did you not? I loved it, it was great. It was good to see that. It's fun, terrific. Fun note about that, when the game started, I, I just heard a loud bang like a <laughs> firework, and as, as soon as I heard I ran up and, and witnessed what was going on. It was them right up at that hill uh, with, their, with, their smoke, with their smoke bombs and their uh, flares and everything. And then, like you, like you were just saying there, the the man, uh, the team cheering them on. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a great thing. Community clubs, they're great clubs. Yeah. I mean, we're always made welcome up at Coburnley. Everywhere we go, we're made welcome. But we are made welcome up here in Coburnley. Thanks to the staff up here for accommodating us as usual. But uh, next week we're away to uh, Rugby Park to see the Kelly ladies or the Kelly women nowadays. Yeah. I'm going to get that right. Uh, the Glasgow girls, so we're heading up, up there next Sunday. Uh, unfortunately, we can't manage along to the park here because we've got a big Scottish Cup tie game against Caledonian Braves, so unfortunately, we won't see that. But somewhere along the line, we'll be back at uh, Valefield Park, Coburnie, to see them in action again. So, from Rebecca, Ross, all the crew here, see you next time. Get the shot!